Now, welcome to the channel, I Do Agri. Today we're doing a job that's been a long time coming. Uh, we have to do a service on the case 4230. I have all my fluids and filters there. Hydraulic fluid, oil, um, coolant. We have air filters, hydraulic filters, fuel filters, oil filters. It'll all go into it now. Um, there's also, I'm going to drop out the oil here in the front axle and um, a few jobs like that but I'll put that at the end I'm going to start with the oil um, so I'm going to warm up the warm up the engine I have to take off the bailifter anyway so I'm going to warm up the engine the oil will be nice and um, thin and should flow out of it nice and easily um, and I have a few few old um, drums there that I cut with uh, cut with the um, sawzall so I'll drain them into that and they'll be handy to have around for doing services on the car and everything so did that the other day um, we'll turn around and yeah just take off the bailiff so Now that should be hot enough, you don't want it boiling, um, it was only on for two or three minutes and these oil pipes are a little bit warm to the touch so that's perfect. We'll find the uh, sump plug underneath and drop the oil out of it, then we can get the filter off, the old filter, um, replace the filter, fill her up with some new oil and then on to the next job I'll probably do the um, fuel filters then. You want to hold the plug in until you know it's going to come out, otherwise you'll get covered in oil. So the oil is all drained out, we're going to get the filter here now, um, I'll try and get this um, chain tool, you might have seen these in the local motor factories or them places, but they don't always work, if it doesn't work you can always punch a um, an old screwdriver through it and just give it a twist, um, 
you know the filters won't be used again so it's a little bit more messy is the only thing um, but we'll see which works for that. Now we have our filter, um, normal oil filter. Usually you would fill it up or at least halfway up if it was side mounted or um, you know mounted this way but since it's upside down I won't put any oil in it. I'll just put a little bit around the um, seal there because it just stops it from skipping when it's going on and yeah it just gets a good seal onto it so I can screw that down is plenty and I'll get the hours of the tractor and the date and I'll scribe them in there with my knife 3418 
So the plug is in the sump, the new oil filter is on, we're ready for some fresh oil. Um, so we'll do that now before we forget, because you don't want to forget and crank the engine even once with um, no oil in it. So we'll do that now. Get off our oil cap. So yeah, it will be tough enough. And there's an old filter in there too. I get a long funnel and a bit of oil. Now the next job is to do the two f fuel filters, so um, just a normal filter and they have just a tap on the bottom, you can release the water every couple of weeks. I didn't know that till now, but um, I'll be doing that in the future, so we have the two of them there. and. Um, We'll see about getting these old ones out first. They're in an awkward spot because of the loader brackets here. Big old thick um, steel plate right beside them. So I don't know, I'm, I'll probably get them better from the bottom. Uh, but they won't take much to, to loosen and get out. Now we have uh, both filters off and we'll put these new ones on um, just screw them on hand tight again. Now we'll fill up uh, these fuel filters before we put them into the tractor. Save time doing it with the uh, primer pump.
and we can put those up into the into the tractor. To bleed the system, we're going to have to uh, loosen this nut there. So I'll get this. And then you want to pump. until you stop seeing bubbles come out of the the bleed screw there so those are the fuel filters now we will do the air filters so there's the primary and secondary filter on these LEDs. Put the wash on there. It's kind of a cloth thing. Now so we can unscrew this with the knob that it has. This is the air box and I'll dust that, dust that off and there's another uh, wing nut for the bigger air filter. This wind wo windscreen washer bottle is in the way. Let's just foam pop that up. That comes out. Now we have more room. Straight it out. doesn't look terrible but, but in fairness it is awful dark in there it's probably been an awful long time since it's been replaced and there's nothing wrong with the brand new uh, white filter there so we'll pop that in and that'll do good but we'll have to get this one out again and there's just one there's a third a uh, wing nut here. <coughs> Again, it doesn't look too bad. Hard to tell. There's the new one. Uh, with this felt stuff on it, so... 
So we can pop this in. They provided a washer as well, so pop that on. They provide a bit of a, a concave washer for that one too. So we'll pop that on. We can put the cover back on. Let's push on. And that can go back on its bracket. That. Yeah. So that's the air filters. Um, we'll do the coolant next. Now it's time to drop the coolant out of it, so I'll take off this radiator cap um, and then in at the side of the engine there is a drain plug for the coolant. So it is just in there behind these wires, um, 17 mil nut or kind of a plug. So I'll have to get this yoke really and probably a couple of them, there's probably a good bit of coolant in it, um, and drain it out. And then I also have to open up this lower pipe to um, drain it out of this heat exchanger. And then I can do everything back up and re refill the, the coolant and I won't close the cap. I'll have to let the yoke run for a minute, let the engine run, get all the air out and then top up the coolant at the end. But we'll drain, we'll drop the coolant out of it now. Well, we have our two buckets there and yeah, you can just see in there, just in front of the glass there is a big bolt. Um, I have my span, my ratchet and a big bar to undo it.
See it's gonna come shooting out. It looks like mainly water as well. It doesn't look like there's much antifreeze or coolant in it, but there's a smell off it. Hold shield. There's a good flood of water coming out. Over there now. They'll be soon full. Now, oh. I'm glad I had the two of them. Um, there is actually a, a yellowish greenish uh, hint of antifreeze in it. It's not just water, but it's good to get it replaced anyway. It doesn't smell or look the freshest. Um, so, yeah, we can put the drain plug back in and I'll start refilling it. Oh no, I forgot. I'm supposed to remove one of these. Um, one of these pipes here on the heat exchanger. Yeah, so I have to remove, uh, it said the lower one, so I'm assuming it's this one. Now I'll try and get this out. Twist, make them free. We can put that back. Now we can replace our drain plug here, a 17mm socket again. It's good to go. Now, we have some 
new coolant there, it's blue stuff, and we'll just fill her in the top and we'll leave it open, get the engine going and get all the air out of it and then we can put our radiator cap on and that would be the coolant taken care of. Now we have it uh, filled pretty much to the top there. I'm going to start the tractor and uh, let it run through the whole system and I'll probably, I'll probably have to top it up just a little bit. So that's the main bit of the service done on the case, uh, fluids changed, filters changed, um, all I've left to do is the hydraulic oil and it's been giving me issues as you've seen with the front loader, it might be just issues with the front loader pipes uh, since the back end isn't affected but we'll, um, we'll have a look at the whole hydraulic system there on Sunday's video and yeah new oil will go in but uh, yeah I hope this video was informative for any of you that have uh, 4200 series case, um, very much the same process. I also want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has recently bought clothing and merch on the website idoagri.ie. It is a massive help and I'm incredibly grateful. Um, I'm going to offer my viewers a discount with the discount code CASE4230. So if you enter that at checkout, um, you'll get 15% off any order. The discount code is limited, so the first five people to enter it at checkout and purchase their items will we'll get the 15% off and um, if you don't make it this week there'll be another code uh, coming out soon so keep an eye out for it. Thank you very much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it hit the like button if you did and make sure to subscribe to the channel we'll see you next time good luck.